doing? Are you recording? We're live. All right, let's do this. It's the Mike and Tony Show. We're we're making barbecue, baby. Are we recording? Yeah, you want me to start oh, over? Oh, yeah. No, we're good. So no, today, we're Mike and Tony are going to be barbecuing some ribeye cap steaks. Hold it up to the cl camera. Check that out. Check that out. That's ribeye it. cap. That's the best it. cut of steak you could get. You want it. That's where it's at, right there. Robot cap! <laughs> All right. So we're going to use this vintage antique Weber. Yeah, it's a great Charcoal Weber. grill. The drill. Wild instead. It works good. I love charcoal. So to get this going, we're going to put some charcoal in the chimney. Oh, I have to add newspaper. Grab some newspaper. Actually, no, I put the charcoal first. There's the newspaper. I got newspaper. Where is it at? It's right here. Grab it. And we got some newspaper here. You can use charcoal starter, but I like to avoid the chemicals if possible. Samson wants some too. You don't want to taint the taste of that meat, especially when you got a ribeye cap. High grade from Kirkland, Costco. Good. So you take this newspaper as so. Put it in shreds. Then you ball it up as so. So if you guys have never seen a charcoal chimney, it looks like this. We got the charcoal in there. And then you put the newspaper underneath and light it on fire and it gets those charcoals going good and hot. So we're gonna stick that there. Where's my lighter? So I'm gonna get my lighter here. And I'm gonna light that newspaper up as so. There we go. Careful there. Light it from all angles. We're gonna get those charcoals going nice and hot. The preparation phase. We salted and peppered these. Well, his lovely wife did. Yeah. We watched. So typically you wouldn't want to get your chimney going on a wood surface, but for the sake of this video and camera angles, we're working with what we got. Pretty much anything's an improvement on this surface. So, so it's getting nice and smoky there. We're going to get those charcoals red hot until they're coals. Man, I haven't used my uh, barbecue since last fall. It's looking bit. dirty. I'm gonna have to get my scraper out. Use a scrape. I'll be right back with my trusty scraper. Yeah, Anthony likes to barbecue. He's always been a barbecue ever since I've known him. I like to barbecue too. I like to eat barbecue. I like to drink while I barbecue. But it's strange. Uh, everyone has their own way of barbecuing. You have to respect that. So that's the main thing going into. If you like barbecuing, like if you like eating barbecue, just don't be too picky and respect that different folks have different strokes on barbecuing the most. Alrighty. So those charcoals are getting going nice and hot. Let those sit for a couple minutes. You got. I got ash on his Guinness. On, no, it's your Guinness. This one's yours. Oh, this is yours. Here you go. But I blew it out of there. All right. So it's a fine spring evening. The sun's setting. It's about 6 p.m. And we're about to cook us some grub. Some Rubbing nice ribeye caps. In the tubbing. During uh, the coronavirus, actually. It's still happening. Pandemic. So that's some grade A Angus. So if you guys have ever had a ribeye, they come in a big, like, ribeye roast. And so this is the cap. Inside of the cap is the eye. So that's oh, yeah. the bulk of the meat. But this is a tender part of the ribeye roast that's on top. So they cut it off. You want it and that's what we got. So we're going to cook it up. So in our uh, little charcoal barbecue... We're gonna have a cool zone and a hot zone. We're gonna put all the hot coals on one side of the barbecue. Side load it, yeah. So we will cook the meat in the cool side of the grill at a low temperature. And then to finish it off, we'll sear it on cook. the hot side. 
sear it in at the end, catching that smoky flavor. How so, you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Good. I'm excited to grill up some meat. Looking forward to Hopefully some that food. charcoal gets hot enough, those coals. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, I think my wife Wendy is going to cook us up some mashed potatoes and some green beans. That complement these just lovely. Guinness helps. These are Guinness, special edition. Leftover from St. Patty's Day. A little bit warm. Yeah, these are awesome. These are the throwback Perfect. cans. Check that out. Bring it back, baby. That's a good looking can. Back. That's a two can. So this is a nitro stout. It's a dry stout. It's not as sweet as a typical American stout, but it's very tasty. So these actually have a little plastic ball inside the can full of uh, nitrous oxide. That helps. And so when you drink it, it uh, simulates it coming off a nitro tap. Makes Gives the bubbles nice and small, micro bubbles they call them. Gives it that fresh tap taste in a can, pretty much. How long does it take on the chimney chimney sweep there? I don't know. Doesn't look like it's going very good. Not really. Yeah. That was a fail. Does it need more paper in Newspaper? Underneath? Yeah, probably. Let's just throw more paper in there and get, get her going again. Nice burn spot on my porch. You'll paint over it. That's true. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that again. <laughs> do it somewhere else. <laughs> Just do it off to the side, like you normally do. Oh! <laughs> so YouTube, sorry for my poor judgment. I just have discovered a better yeah. idea for getting this started. So take your newspaper as such, ball it up, and instead of getting your chimney going on the wooden bench, do it on your barbecue. So that way you don't burn your your furniture. I don't know what I was thinking. You got good oxygen flow there with the grill. So it's a nice and blustery day, so the first um, go didn't get it very hot, so we're gonna give it another try. Sometimes that happens, I've seen this. <laughs> no, <it's a> terrible... <laughs> Your bench is still on fire. Oh but, man. Uh, man. Don't tell Wendy. Of course not. So I think I'm gonna get a match, man. Yeah, you're just gonna need a match. It's a pretty blessed day. I'm still holding the stakes. They're still looking good, though. Oh yeah. This will happen on your uh, barbecue experiments. Got the long ones. Safety first. Yeah, I'll block the block the wind here. Block the wind. Oh, that went out really quick. Whoops. We'll try one more time. Or as many times as necessary. Probably once will be enough. Hope so. Wrong end. There we go. Oh man, that would have been out here. The wind just picked up and let it. <laughs> this is not oh, no. the ideal situation here, just, for Just light it up. Here we go. My lighter's cooperating while Mike blocks the wind for us. Thank you, Mike. Of course. So let's get that other, other holes. Torch that puppy! Rum, bum, bum, bum. So this is how you get the charcoals nice and hot in your chimney. You do it on your barbecue grate so you can get that air circulation underneath the newspaper so you get it nice and get hot. Get that air, sir. Do not do it on your wooden furniture. Negative. Hey, live and learn. You know, My we... patio. How not to barbecue? Bench is still burning. That was a terrible idea. Smoke. Note to self. I won't do that again. Smoke follows the beauty. Where did I set my stogie? lost my stogie too. Did it roll off the bench? Oh no. It probably rolled there off the bench. There it is. Don't step on it. Oh, I almost stepped on it. Nice. Saved. And it's still wet. Still going. Let me try some of that uh, Corona there. Corona? The stogie? The stogie. So just in case you guys are curious what type of cigar this is, this is a Partagas. This particular Partagas is a vintage 98. And the size is Epicure. I believe it's like uh, three and a half inch by like 40 ring gauge. But let's see if you guys can make out the label there. 
But yeah, it has a nice Maduro wrapper. Very smooth, very tasty. There we go. Smoking. So that must mean the coals are getting nice and hot. Well, oh, my bench is still burning. I better douse that. Extinguish. Extinguish my burning bench. You're like a firefighter. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Now it's uh, coming along there. On the Whoa. On the so I'm not sure if you guys have watched our previous video. We just reviewed. Dude, there's one. You can see a little slight nugget in Anthony's pants. What? A nugget? <laughs> a nugget of what? Uh, you watch, you decide. You got your downstairs mix-up going on there, <laughs> cowboy? No, it's good. It's good. It's good. All right, those coals are looking nice. Coals are looking hot. Nice and hot. Not really. I we think the ones at the bottom another, are here. Some one. more newspaper. Let me go do so, another newspaper. Let me find some more newspaper. Our I'm final to light a grill. Hey, Shanae -nae. piece of newspaper advertisement. Shanae -nae ran away. Gonna get that going. We have a cat, Shanae. -nae. Well, Anthony has a cat, Shanae. -nae. So we'll give it one more go of newspaper. Third time's a charm. Hopefully you know what that's, they say. Hopefully that's sufficient. This will work. Let's get my cigar lighter, my torch. It's a work in progress. A little rusty, I haven't barbecued since last fall. The season is still yet coming upon us for barbecuing. I had a friend, his nickname was Barbecue. So hopefully this does a trick. There we go, that's burning hot. That's how you do it, son. I'll introduce you to my cat, Shanene. Come here, Shanene. Shanene. Oh, she's scared, she's ready to use. Let me go grab her. I think she's afraid of the camera. Little camera shy. Yeah, most cats are. So I managed to capture my Russian capture. blue Shanene. Hey YouTube, so this is my cat Shanene. Nice looking specimen of a cat. It's pretty much out there now. Inside, outside cat. Medium hair, really soft, kind of shy of the camera. Yeah, pretty cool cat. <laughs> I think cool I'm going to set her down. There you go, Shanani. All right, you guys, I think those coals are... Yeah, they're, they're burning all right. They'll suffer, so we'll get the job done. <laughs> Close enough. Let me try it. Hey, we're trying. So this has a quick release. That's what you want to use each so time. Then I pull that out. I chop the charcoal with silk. Man, that's not going very good again. Not really. So he's blowing it. Do you have some lighter, lighter fluid? I wish I had some lighter <laughs> fluid. I have some gasoline. There you go. Maybe some gasoline will work. Or WD-40. There you go. That works too. Yeah, sometimes you just have to find like your home flammables to use to really get it going. The papers are more natural, more uh, normal way to do it, but sometimes you just got to use brute force. Especially when there's wind and the elements and whatnot. You don't have time really, too. You only have one life to live. Don't waste it. So I can't find my WD 40, I'm going to go get some gasoline. Yeah, we don't have any WD 40, so gasoline. I prefer gasoline. It is the most like drastic way to go, but it works. <laughs> He's got a nice, nice gasoline shed. Plenty of gasoline. Gallons of gasoline. He stocks it for when the prices are low, he'll buy it, and then when it's high, he doesn't have to buy gas. So, pretty good system. Be careful, yeah, there's already some lid on there, so... Alright, so always use extreme caution when you're starting a barbecue grill with uh, gasoline. We got the industrial gas can here. Observe. Very flammable, so you gotta be careful. It's blue. It's not water, but gas. So let's use a very small amount. Yeah, the smallest. 
There we go. Doesn't take much with gas. That's what's cool about it. Enough there to douse the charcoals. Definitely douse. We'll let the vapor, the vapors evaporate. We'll let the gasoline soak into those coals. Ooh. And we'll get we'll get that lit up here in a few seconds after most of the vapors evaporate. So whenever you use gasoline as a fuel method, after pouring the fuel, yeah. always take the container far away so it doesn't ignite. Yeah. Have Safety it. first. Have a fire. I've had some bad campfire experiences, but it's all right. I think you're good to light it though. Throw that match in there. All right. Or just fist it. Whoa! There we go. Pull that wheel around. Yeah. There we go. Alright. So that's how you start a barbecue. And always give it a few minutes for the fumes to burn off. Yeah. Put that lid on there so it burns off some of that. Oh uh, no. Oh, well, that's. Bur I mean, no, we'll clean, put that on. It cleans it. it cl you it'll you clean, can try. It'll clean the grill. It might burn your flavor, your fingers. Oh. Mm. Macho man over here. There we go. Yeah, it's good to burn, pre burn your grill so it cleans it. Yeah, we should have got this going before we started this video. <laughs> we sh if we had started this right now, it would have been a much better video. So next time, we'll have hey. the barbecue going beforehand. Hello, YouTube! We're coming at you live! We just lit our barbecue with gasoline! Cool, though. Should I put this on? No. Not yet. See, he knows. So he... fire needs oxygen, so we're going to leave the lid off. Get the maximum ox oxygen to the... The briquettes, so the you get the maximum is. flame. And then once those coals get nice and white and hot, we'll put that lid on and get these steaks started. All right. I'll show you guys the steaks up close. Yeah, really give them a close up of those bad boys. Check out that beauty. That's a ribeye cap. Oh, a cap. So this is probably like three. 12 inch long strips of ribeye cap and they butt, they roll them in a swirl and they tie it off a string keep it together so they Mike one decided to take a leak so these these coals are getting nice and hot hope you guys are staying safe out there amidst the COVID-19 epidemic. Stay inside, stay safe. <coughs> Make sure to keep your hands washed and sanitized. Only go out if you absolutely have to. You don't want to mess around with that coronavirus. It's bad. So these coals are getting nice and toasty. I'm going to put the lid on to trap in some of that heat as the coals are getting nice and hot. <laughs> we'll leave the, that thingy open, the holes, so I get more oxygen while the lid's closed and trapping in that heat. Then we'll throw these bad boys on there. So what are you guys doing? during the coronavirus to stay entertained. Video games, watching a new series on Netflix. I just recently started the third season of The Ozarks Oh, I just saw that too. Yeah, that show is so dope. I think it's up there with Breaking Bad. I had to go take a leak inside. Yeah, I, I let them know. Um, yeah, one time I came up here and took a link, and like Anthony, I came out of the bathroom and he was like, hey, I don't think you like washed your hands. Like, did you wash your hands in there? And I was like, uh, probably not. I don't know. I don't remember. But like, he's always someone who wants you to wash your hands when you go to the bathroom ever since I know since him. I yeah. But it's good. It's good. It's but when I'm around him, I wash my hands. Yeah. Keep it clean. Especially during these times. Yeah. You know, Ozark's a good show, definitely watch that. Nice. 
nice. They're getting nice and hot. It's a little bit tricky when it's breezy and cold out. Yeah, it's a balance. You gotta deal with the elements. But that's what you do. It's like cooking over a yeah. fire. So charcoal barbecuing is definitely an art form. A lot of people prefer gas, propane gas grills. It's about getting it hot enough at the right temperature those, and keeping the meat close at that temperature. Those are like easy. You just set and forget it like an electric oven, but this charcoal, is more, it's an art form. Yeah. You have to worry about uneven heats, getting it going and staying hot. Yeah, it's about trying to keep it as consistent as possible until the end temperature is met. But you definitely get more flavor from the charcoal briquette than from the propane gas. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because they get the briquettes from wood. Wood. Believe it or not. You think that's hot enough? I think we need to put it on no matter what. Yeah, it's going to need to cook. I just want it to be hot enough to close this. No, no, no. That won't let any oxygen in. Oh, yeah, you're right. So let's take a look at the coals. Um, you know, so the bottom, bottom layer of the briquettes is getting pretty good, nice and toasty, a nice even temperature. Oh yeah, it's pretty hot to touch. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a, a good 300 degrees. Probably 250. 250, yeah. So we're going to get these steaks on there, and I'll go and run inside and get my meat throwing thermometer real quick. Yeah. I'd put it right there, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Love that nice. sizzle, that meat sizzle. Nice. No, you can hear it. Sizzle. So I'm gonna go get my meat thermometer. He'll be right back. I'll be right back. YouTube. Yeah, it's best to grow outside, like open outside, more natural, more natural setting. Um, get out there, get in it get used to being exposed to the elements. We like charcoal cooking, but you can do wood chips, you can do wood, uh, wood fire, there's smokers, there's propane. Uh, there's several different ways to barbecue. So I found my thermometer. So here we got a laser thermometer. So you press the button, it shines a laser, it's and it tells for, you the temperature too. of whatever you're pointing it at. And here's my good old digital meat, meat thermometer. thermometer. You just stick it right in and it tells you the temperature. There's a couple good thermometer holes there. Really point that dot somewhere centered. Alright, those coals, they're a good 340 degrees Whoa, Fahrenheit. Three, that's what you want. Yeah. That's Look what, at that. That's, what, that's what we're going for. We're going to have to switch it to the other side pretty soon. It's getting too hot over there. Yeah. Alright, so we got the optimal, the optimum grilling temperature for ribeye cap. So it's pretty cold outside, so only one side of the meat's getting heat. So we're probably going to have to cook them for a good five minutes on each side. It's going to take some time. It's a, You have to have something else to do. Drink a few beers, have a good conversation while you're out. Yeah. Have your dogs out. Very therapeutic. Yeah. Just out here relaxing, preparing some dinner. Grub to the Trip eats, family. the drive through and fast food. Yeah. Eat, eating some real food. They shouldn't really call that food, you know. It is something your body can eat, but is it really food? Eh. I beg to differ. They're not quality, but it, it's definitely tasty. Yeah, it tastes good. Don't get me wrong. I like it. Give me a Big Mac. They have a new Big Mac now. It's like a single, single, single Mac. Uh, well, it's like smaller, and there's not that middle. The button. middle bread? Is it still two meat patties? Just, I might might have two. I don't remember. Might just have one meat patty. Though. Interesting. With a but it's like, sauce. They have a double one, too. They have one that's like double the size of the Big Mac. It has like four patties. Like. Well, that's too much. Yeah, it's like too much. But they have layers so, to it now. There's like a little, medium, like is the normal, and the big. So it's like there's so like sorry, a triple. Sorry to interrupt, but right now we're getting some flare-ups on the meat. Oh, so right now we're going to want to flip the meat and get it over to the cool side because those flare-ups are... You don't want the I meat told to get you it was flaring up. Oh, I didn't hear that. I was like, we'll probably have to move it over. And you're like, yeah, whatever. So now we'll flip it over. Oh no, it's falling apart. <laughs> so this is how not to grill a ribeye cap.
It's looking pretty sad, but <laughs> it'll still be edible. We'll still be able to eat it. Hopefully, it still tastes good. So it's held together by the string? Yeah, it can't really mess up a ribeye cap. It's kind of like a filet mignon, except with more um, fat ribbons. So you can't really go wrong. It's very tasty. You could overcook these, and they're still succulent and tender. Yeah. We're going to undercook ours, and it's going to be succulent and tender. Yeah, those flames are going pretty good, but it's not. It, it doesn't look like they got too charred, so I think we're okay. Yeah, we're doing fine. It's what you want. I think we're going to put that lid on, though, to shut some of that heat so they cook all the way through. There we go. So that's how you do it, YouTube. Yeah. Let these guys sit on there for a couple more minutes. They're going to be... Yeah, I'm ready to, ready to eat go. some grub. I hope Wendy is getting those mashed potatoes ready. These are very tasteful with accommodations of mashed potatoes and green beans. Hey, my personal them? preference, if you don't mind. If you would be so obliged. Yeah. We're pretty good at grilling and stuff, but not really. We have a few dogs. We're looking at breeding another dog, too. Maybe we'll put that in one of the videos. Dog breed. Dog breed? You're going to bring some, bring some dogs? The Black Lab. Some burritos? Yeah, we might bring some Black Lab puppies in the, the videos. Lucy? Yeah, Lucy or... Um, there's this other uh, dog, uh, brown lab, I don't know its name. No, uh, golden lab. Labrador, a retriever, if you will. So this plate we got here is kind of bloody. I want to go get a, a dry 9x9 pan lined in foil to set the finished product yeah. in. I'll be right back. Here you go. Thank you, Michael. Of course, sir. And thank you. So keep them entertained. I'll, I'll be right back. Entertained. I'll keep them live. Hey guys, so... Why don't you tell them about your job? I have a good job. I work uh, for IT work at Pepsi, a bottling company here in town. We do like... Uh, uh, we sell Pepsi. It's pretty fun. Pepsi's a good drink. Drink it all you want. Yeah. Me and Anthony have been buddies a long time. We've always liked meats and grilling. We like YouTube. We thought we'd get out there and expose ourselves to you guys, see what's good. We just want to be uh, be <laughs> a little authentic, I guess. We're kind of crazy people, so it works good to uh, have some have some footage of it all. We want to see what happens when it all works. So his dog's temperature is. 132. Too cold. What's 132? Uh, your dog. Well, my dog's 132 <laughs> no, degrees. 32 Perfect. degrees. I think what? that's just the temperature out here. Don't think I got it. Yeah, I think I, think I need to get that calibrated. That doesn't sound right. Or is that Celsius? That's Fahrenheit. But I don't think I, I don't think I got the dog. I think I. But it's definitely it not right. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. That's below freezing. Might need new batteries. Yeah. So I got my foil lined plate to put the finished ribeye caps on. Oh man, those are looking nice. Those are looking good. Oh no, the foil is still, still good. It's still good. Yeah, it's still good. They're pretty close. Yeah, so some people say don't touch a steak to get a nice sear. But then there's other people saying like keep on flipping it. So, I don't know. What's your preference? Yeah, you can flip it, but I don't care as long as it tastes good. Yeah. I think you need a few crucial flips in there, at least two. Like, well, at least one flip. You can't not flip it. Yeah, you definitely have to flip it if you want to, want to cook it on both sides. So what's the, like, you can do it, you can get by with one flip, though. You can. You can eat it raw, too, but it's not, <laughs> it's not ideal. It's not ideal. So let's see how this is looking. Oh, check that out. Oh, delicious. Check that out, YouTube. Oh, nice. It's looking beautiful. I'm excited to eat that. Flip that other guy. Oh, grab, it, grab, it, grab it from these angles. There you go. So one of the ribeye pieces is just like falling apart, but it'll we still... We should just eat that piece right now. It'll still it taste good. Should we eat that right now? I don't want to. You can. It's okay. Yo, know, we'll give a little bit more time to cook. But I think it's about there. 
still pretty raw on the inside. I think we'll cook this to a nice medium rare. You never want to overcook your meat. Uh, then it tastes like cardboard. That's not good. Like our president. Fair to have it rare. Oh yeah, why would you never With ketchup on to top? Eat it? Yeah. Man. Well done. Ketchup on top. But hey, whatever tickles is pickled. Yeah, here's some cardboard with ketchup. Oh well. We like uh, teach their own. Yeah, we like we like diversity. We're a country of it. I don't think he's gotten that memo yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It's that way. It's like you want someone who's like an asshole, like stuck in his ways to be running stuff. You don't want someone who's like <laughs> all free thinking and crazy and screwing everything up. It's yeah. like just whatever's kind of worked in the past. Let's keep doing that. You have to have a nice balance. Yeah. Still do some new stuff. Don't get too freaky. You know, appease the youth. They legalize weed or whatever, but I mean, who knows? So I think this is about done, you guys. It's nice and hot now. Woo, doggy. Doggy. Yeah, that's done. I wouldn't cook it anymore. Me neither. I'll hold this plate. Alright, YouTube, so that's how you do not cook a ribeye cap. You should go show them. Give them a nice close up of that beauty. Boy, boy. It looks like garbage, but it's going to taste amazing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cheers. Cheers, mates. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you for watching. You want to hit the stop button, Mike? Of course.